Hey guys, it's Sam here from How to Have a Q. Last week I made a challenge video of me making a calculator in 10 minutes in Visual Studio C Sharp. So today I'm going to explain to you exactly how I made a calculator that fast and the techniques I used. So let's get straight into it. First of all, I just quickly made the layout. All I did was I took the buttons from this toolbox here and I quickly pasted them in and I just copy and pasted them like that. I just went copy, paste, etc and line them all up really quickly as you might have seen in the video. I then took all the numbers and I named them at the appropriate numbers 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, etc. And what I did was I clicked this little events button here and we're under the click function I entered in num underscore click and if you look here all that simply does is it gets the button I clicked and then I add the text to the calculator uh, here which is the text box and I apply that to all the numbers all num click and then I did it for the operations too so if you look here operation underscore click and effectively what I did was I took it here I took the button I took the text from the button each of these have the appropriate operation key I then got the total that was in the calculator so what that means is say I did a 12 when I click plus I, I've now stored the 12 as the total and then if you look here I cleared it and I set dec equal to false and dec is basically if there's a decimal because when I click the operation key I can then write another number which could have a decimal in and yeah these are the other this is the equals button this is a decimal point button and this is a clear button so the decimal point button basically has this if function if not deck so basically the inverse of deck so if it's false then it allows it if it's not false then it doesn't allow it so basically if there isn't a decimal point button already in the number then it allows the number to be there and it sets deck to true the clear function which is here it sets everything basically to zero and empty string so total zero and to the zero key to an empty string deck to false and uh, the text in the calculator to an empty string also. And this is the equals button function here. It checks to see if the length in the text box of the calculator is greater than zero, so there's basically something in the calculator. It then stores a number that's currently in the calculator. It then looks at the key stored from the operation function up here. So say it was plus, then it would add the total which was stored from up here. So the first number and then num is the number that you had last and you would add them together so depending on the key it does the different operations divide, times, etc. Then it sets the number in the calculator to the answer and sets deck to false and that's how I made the calculator in 10 minutes that's how easy it was very simple quick code once you understand it very easy to do thanks for watching guys subscribe to my youtube channel how to faq comment down below what you thought of this video what sort of videos you want me to do like this video and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching guys